Hey guys, it's Jarrett from Cloud Adoption Solutions. Uh, today we are going to write a trigger that we actually might use. This one's going to be on the opportunity and it's going to add a follow-up task uh, when the opportunity is marked close one. So first we're going to start uh, going into the dev console and we're going to select new Apex trigger. We're going to call it the closed op trigger. Maybe not. We're going to call it another closed op trigger. All right, and this one's going to work uh, either when the opportunity is created and mark close one or after it's updated to close one. So we're going to say after insert and after update. Um, all right, so we're going to create a new list of tasks. Jeez. Uh, all right, and then we're going to populate that list uh, as we iterate through the opportunities. So here we're going to create our iterator. And then do a SQL query. Uh, yeah, we're gonna find select ID, stage name, from opportunity, where stage name equals closed one, and ID in here dot. curly braces on there so it doesn't yell at us and then we're going to do a little if statement and check the stage name and if it passes that we're going to add it to the task list Here we're going to create a new task. Very important follow up task. And then we're going to use the what ID to relate it to the opportunity. the basic functionality and we're gonna look at the task list uh, list to see if it is larger than zero so if it's not empty let's see if this works no problems for once uh, yeah, let's go check it on an opportunity. So we will go into this one. This looks good. Um, all right, we're going to close it and we're going to win it. There we go. Very important follow up task. All right, that's it.